And what I want to do next is I want to uh, um, dive a little bit deeper into uh, some of the, some of the, um, how, how do we actually end up using this in, in, in the real, um, um, yeah, in, in Jetscape, basically. So before, before we go on to that, um, I'll, I was wondering whether there's any questions uh, that, I, that I could answer. Uh, what we just recently had was uh, the question of what is the typical scale of energy for small energy radiation, or what we call small energy radiation. Um, uh, there was an answer by Ahmed of that that's typically a scale of less than one GV. I just wanted to know. Yeah, it's around there. there. It's around there. It's around there. Because the the idea is. Um, Right, yes, yes. Okay, um, right now there are questions being written, but <laughs> they're not there yet, so. Okay, um, let, me, uh, let, me, let me sort of move on to the, to the hands-on component. Before you go on, uh, Goiko, yes. maybe now is a good time for, um, for uh, Paul, just to yeah. make sure everybody's on the, still with you. Yeah, that's, thank you. So, Hope everybody has uh, was, is following at this point. So uh, answer yes or no on to uh, in the in using the um, using Zoom. So we're getting all thirty yeses, which is the, by far the largest vote is hasn't answered yet. Um, the yeses are ticking up. Okay. We've got 47 and they're kind of slowing down. So I would tend to say, and, and no no's. So okay. I would tend to say move along. Okay, very good. Hey, maybe at this point, there's two questions. They seem interesting. So let me just go through them uh, that just came in. First one is, shouldn't LPM suppression be larger for larger energy emissions in QCD because the formation length grows with E, where E is the energy? Um, Do you want me to repeat? Yeah. Shouldn't LPM suppression be larger for larger energy emissions in QCD because the formation right. length grows with E? No, I think the, the, the formation length should, uh, the, 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 the smaller the, the energy, the, the, the smaller the formation length should be. Um, that's, so the, I mean, if, 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 if you really have a, a, a high energy radiation, okay, the, um, typically, as I, as I already mentioned, these are also associated, if you, if you do the kinematics, those are also associated with very large angles. And very large angle scatterings, typically, uh, you can, the, these can be resolved in the, um, by, by, by the partons, right? It's really when, when the, the daughter and the parton are, are, are close to each other that uh, the medium has a, has a hard time distinguishing whether the radiation actually happened or not, okay? And in that case, uh, th this is sort of what, what, you, what you're trying to determine is how many of these transverse kicks do you really need before you can, you can really see, you can distinguish that you have a radiation, okay? And, uh, right. Okay, and the other question is, I know that energies are large, but are you positive that in high Q squared, high E sector, collisional energy loss is negligible? Uh, so, no, so, so it's not that it's, okay, it's, it's a question on, on um, the, the collision and loss is not negligible and it's actually taken into account. So as I already said, we, what we do is after we determine the virtuality of the split and, uh, sorry, well, after we determine with the, the virtuality of the incoming part and we've determined the momentum fraction of the split, uh, you can use the virtuality to figure out what the, what the lifetime is. 
okay? Um, and, um, and, um, and then basically what you do is, is, is that during that lifetime, you can add in the two to two scatterings. Okay. The reason why I'm saying it's uh, what is negligible is the effect that these two to two scatterings really have on the energy and the virtuality of the, the, the either the parent parton or the, the, the two daughters that are created. Okay. Um, so they will, they will, they will, they, they really don't modify the, all that much the virtuality because the kinematics uh, of the, of the partons, which in the, in the QGP that are trying to, um, to, uh, Okay, so the idea is that uh, the QGP, okay, has partons that uh, have energy of around uh, the, th the temperature, okay? Whereas the partons that, ex that exist in the shower are of much, much higher energy, okay? So there's only so much uh, momentum transfer that, 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 that you can have between the partons in the QGP and the partons in, 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 in the shower. So as if you are in the high energy, high virtuality portion of the shower, most of the shower is essentially going to be dominated by splits and these kicks, I mean, you know, you, 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 if your typical energy scale is of order of the temperature and the temperature, let's say it's like 0.5 GeV, whereas the energy of your, of your parent parton is like 100 GeV uh, or, or even 10 GeV, there's no way really that the wimpy parton that exists in the, in the QGP can really affect the energy and the momentum a lot of the, of the, of the, um, uh, once you're in the sort of the matter phase. So that's, that's sort of the, 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 the way of thinking about it. Okay, thank you. Um, I think we can go on. There's no more questions right now. 